everyone, welcome to another vlog from the ship about the seaman life. Today I want to tell you about the galley of this particular vessel that I am on board now. This is a chemical tanker that was built in 2015 and it has 25,000 dead weight. We are in a little bit of storm right now in the Atlantic Ocean, but that will not stop me from making a short vlog for you guys. So let's get moving. This is the galley of the vessel. On the left side there is a small cabinet that uh, our lovely chief cook is using to store some condiments, some vinegar, some uh, things that he is putting on the food just to give it a little bit of taste. This is our oven, it goes up to 400 degrees Celsius, it is supplied on 220 AC. As you can see it has three different compartments, so he can cook three meals at the same time. This is the deep fat fryer, it is supplied on 220 AC. This is our hot plate, this is supplied on 440 AC. The panel which is supplying this is one floor up from here. Uh, this is another device that the chief cook is using to make the dough for the bread or anything like that. On the left side you are seeing the AC unit which is used to cool this uh, galley. That is the dishwasher and this is the dispenser for the food waste. We have to make it small, we are not allowed to just throw it in the ocean. And this is a small fridge that our chief cook is using to store a little bit of uh, provisions just uh, to use uh, whenever he is cooking. Of course the main food is uh, downstairs in the upper deck. And here we have another storage for some cooking pot and things like that. That is the phone which is for the galley. So if there are any issues he can, uh, the chief cook can call in engine room and call for me, for the electrician or the captain can call the chief cook whenever we have an inspection and he has to bring a coffee for the inspector, things like that. So this is the galley of the vessel. This is a sink and that is a heating boiler. Uh, this is keeping the water hot for the guys whenever they are making some uh, noodle soup or the chief cook is using sometimes if he is in a hurry and he does not want to wait for the water to heat on the hot plate. So this is our galley. Uh, this is uh, the hot plate that I was uh, telling you about earlier. I had a little bit of job on it because uh, uh, being uh, being on 440 and uh, the chief cook is using it all day it's working on a very high temperature and uh, most of the time the wiring is getting uh, damaged from the heat and also from the cooking oil which is spilling all over and um, sometimes I have to check the wiring not to be damaged because uh, most of the time on any ship this is a common uh, problem. You can get low insulation problem on the hot plate. So once in a while you have to check that the wiring is okay, it's not melted and it is in good condition. And uh, also I come on in the galley uh, in the morning time when I take my breakfast and uh, before six o'clock, before I finish my duty, and uh, before going up in my cabin, I come uh, in the galley and take another look just to see if the chief cook needs my assistance with anything, if he has any problems or anything like that. Uh, I sometimes have to check the heating boiler uh, that is in good condition. Sometimes I, uh, I have to open it and clean the resistor inside. Even though the galley seems small, I can assure you that there are plenty jobs for an electrician. Even so, uh, I had to do a little bit of job on the 
uh, deep fat fryer this is the deep fat fryer as you can see the <laughs> chief cook is already using it to, to make some uh, french fries and some um, meat um, the heating coil has problems most of the time does not work properly and another job that I had to do was on the dishwashing machine uh, it was not heating the water the heating coil it has it had a problem and I think I have recorded already a vlog it will be soon on the channel uh, you will see me working on that one uh, also the AC unit that you are seeing in the back it's working all day because as you can imagine uh, the temperature inside the galley is uh, getting quite high and uh, the chief cook uh, is in desperate need of that AC unit so I have to check uh, that it's working properly I usually check it two times per day in the morning and in the evening I, ha I also uh, change the air filter on that one and I have to check that the cooling is uh, done properly the cooling on that AC unit is uh, done by seawater so it's, uh, it's not so great uh, because uh, if you are in a hot area like uh, I don't know in Indonesia the seawater is hot it's like uh, 30 32 degrees Celsius so there isn't much cooling done so that is why sometimes you are seeing in the galley that the doors are open towards the uh, mess room because it's getting quite high the temperature is getting high over here and the chief cook is <laughs> sweating sweating a lot but uh, he is a very nice guy he is making us different foods and of course like I was saying before I try to do my best to keep all the equipment in the galley working in proper conditions the galley also is protected against fire just outside the galley we have a smoke detector of course the smoke detector cannot be inside the galley because as you already see uh, in the previous video the chief cook is uh, frying all day either fish or french fries or whatever and the smoke detector with the ring all day so we have uh, heat detectors inside the galley there are two pieces this is one of them and there is another one in the back and uh, I have to check these uh, sensors every Saturday that they are working in the proper conditions and uh, this is another, another uh, device that is uh, uh, used to prevent fire on the deep fat fryer this one is using foam of course because on the deep fat fryer you will have uh, um, cooking oil on high temperature and of course you cannot use water so you have to use a special foam and this is the system that is uh, uh, triggered manually by the chief cook in case there is an issue he will just come over here and pull, pull this lever and that way the fire would not spread but even so if it spreads there is a manual call point here where the ratings are eating this is the crew mess room and they can press this one and the fire alarm will trigger and that is the galley of our ship it was a short vlog but I hope it was useful if you like it don't forget to hit that like button please and uh, maybe you want to subscribe to the channel I will keep posting useful stuff about the seaman life Thank you very much for your attention and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.